Hello everybody and welcome to Clear Path Guidance in Tarot. This is your monthly love reading for the sign of Aquarius for April. I would like to thank everybody for tuning in, watching my monthly videos and even my daily ones. Thank you. I appreciate all of you, every single one of you that have subscribed and watched my videos. For anybody that is new to this channel and you haven't seen any of my videos before, uh, I am a clairsentient, which is a height up, um, it's an empath, empath. It's a heightened form of empathy. So through feelings, I can feel past, present, and future in relationships. I, um, uh, I lost my train of thought. <laughs> okay. So if you are, find yourself in a situation where you don't know what's going on and the person, the other person in the relationship is really not giving you many answers. You don't know if this person loves you or if you should move on or whatever the case is. I, I can read that person's feelings. All right. That's where I shine. That's where I do my best work. I do a energy reading and a tarot spread if you purchase a reading from me. Okay. Like I can't, I can't, I'm not a mind reader. I can't read minds. Okay. So you ask me a question. I can tell you how I feel that's going to play out. I had a guy who, who bought a reading from me and he asked about women in his life and he asked about work. A week later, he comes back and he says, I got into a fight with my uncle and I had to move in with my cousin who's a pig and I have to now move. I'm quitting my job and moving back. Why didn't you tell me that this was going to happen? <laughs> Well, you didn't ask me about your uncle and you didn't ask me about your cousin. You know, that's like, it, it's not going to come up because I'm not a mind reader, you know? <laughs> so that's just an example. But if you ask me about a certain person, I can feel that person's energy. I can't read into everybody's personal life with all the different people in their life. So just kind of, that's a heads up. That's the way I work. Okay. All right. So if you're these readings here, this is meant for not meant for every Aquarius out there. Each and every one of you walk different paths of life. So this here, this reading, if it jet, if it um, uh, resonates with you, that's great. And if it doesn't, and you want a personal reading, you can email me. My email will be at the bottom of this link of the video. Okay. So the very first card right here I pulled is the Three of Pentacles. This talks about hard work. All right, progress, success through dedication. If you are in a relationship right now and you kind of like, you know, this is saying it's going to take some hard work, dedication, and you will have success. Okay, this is somebody who is working by the candlelight. He's working all night long and he's, that's what it's on his mind is just get getting through this. All right, it's a positive card of progress. You'll get there. Stick with it. All right, and um You'll it would be an appreciation here, okay, in the relationship. Okay, next card is the Page of Cups. And the Page of Cups talks about, um, you have this female, this younger energy, because this is a general reading again, it could be male or female. This is a person that perhaps you could be involved with that's younger. And they're a Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio person. And they're, these people are water signs and they're highly emotional, but not, they're highly sensitive, but not very emotional. All right, this person wants to give to you. You can see they're, the water is ready to engulf them and they're more than happy. They're wanting to give. It's a new romance. It's a new start. It's a deepening of a relationship. It's, um, uh, it's this person's offering. They want to offer to you, which is a really nice, it's a nice card. All right. They don't, they don't care. They'll be, they, they want to be emotionally, they want to give. You can see there's the card, the, the cup right there in her hand. She wants to give. So if you're involved with a younger um, water sign person, this card is saying that they want to give to you emotionally. Okay. And the last card is the Hierophant. Okay. So here we have the Hierophant and this talks about fitting in. All right. So perhaps this one, the person wants to fit into your life, wants to be there with you. They're giving to you. Um, the Hierophant is about, uh, this could be traditional person. They're upholding tradition. Um, it could be a person that can also give you some clarity about situation. You know, 
an older father figure. Um, it's about uncovering personal truths as well. And there could be some questions. This person can help you with some questions. But I would say that this person here that wants to offer to you is a traditional person. Traditional, wants to fit in with society. Um, and it could be an authority figure of some sort. Maybe someone that you're working with. Okay. All right. So here you have you your hard work. Okay. There's your hard work. All right, you will progress. Okay, and um, a person wants to offer here for you. And fitting in, this, this person, I believe these are the same person. A little bit rigid, you know, but they want to offer to you. Okay, and the last card here is Doreen Virtue. From Doreen Virtue, it's free yourself. It's time to take back control of your life. Okay, so... Um, you working too hard at this okay um, this person wants to offer I'm just gonna see what the book talks about for free yourself okay free yourself I can just get there all right it's talk it's a card about limitations and restraints constraints all right, this card comes to you from the Romance Angels because they've heard your call for great love. To experience passion, though, you must first allow yourself to feel deep emotions. In doing so, you may come up against areas of your life where you harbor discontent. Simply by acknowledging these areas, you bring light to the situation and allow room for the angels to help you. As you commit to taking back control of your life, your feelings will naturally thaw and reawaken. This leads to a greater capacity to love yourself, your partner, and your experiences. All right. Okay, everybody. I hope all you Aquarians have a great April. And again, if you want a private reading, go ahead and email me and I will get back to you as soon as possible. All right. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.